Hey guys and gals, Necrolion here, and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Now, in the last episode, we failed in our mission to defend the gate. And it wasn't, I don't think, I don't believe it was actually because the gate actually fell. Oh crap, we gotta rewatch everything. Well, I'm actually going to skip it all. Because in the last episode, we had seen it. So that's the thing, if you are coming in because of this episode, you're coming into episode 4, watching it the first time, go back and watch episodes 1 through 3, you'll understand a lot more. Uh, as usual guys, at the end of these videos, there will be two annotations, one being a subscribe to my channel, the other one being a current playlist of some sort, probably like Digimon or something, I don't know what I'm going to put yet. Other than that... We are going to be, you know, playing Valkyria Chronicles and whatnot. Uh, I believe this is the centralized the steel tank. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We got def this is defending the uh, gate mission. Yeah, I, I know how. To, I already know about this mission. Like I said, we did it in the last mission, last episode. So if you are coming into episode four, go watch the other t uh, three episodes. Yeah, I know how to play. All right, I know how to play. I know how to do what I need to do. Alicia, I said I'm kind of gonna move her over here. Enemy unit spotted. Crouching target mode. Who am I gonna hit? I'm gonna try to hit a shock trooper, or we're gonna try to hit the elite. Try to aim for the elite. Okay, we hit him once. I didn't expect us to hit, so. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to probably move you up in the tower, because you're a, he is an expendable soldier. Does he have grenades? No, he does not have grenades. She starts out with grenades in this area. God, you suck at aiming. They have machine guns, these shock troopers do. So that's one big thing we do have to kind of worry about. I'm actually going to turn this up so sound effects are a little bit better. And so you can hear the glorious freaking music that is Valkyrie Chronicles. So good. I mean, it's just like battle music, but still like good battle music. Oh, look at that. Hit every shot. You, the boss. This, yeah. Uh, but a big thing I'm going to do is actually crush this guy and put him into a shooting position. It is like a little touchy. Hopefully, because he'll move. He'll move, the elite will move, and then you have two people over off here to the right that will move. So I'm hoping that in general, they can, you know, damage them enough. Yeah, move the tank moves first. There's nothing they can do about the tank. Even like hitting in the treads ain't gonna do anything. It's always gonna go and damage the gate. Like I said, our main goal here is to try and that scout's dead. One last person we gotta worry about. Oh, she's out. Oh yeah. Nice shooting, nice shooting. Oh helping. It was, it was hope. There was hope there. That's one reason why I I oh, got ooh, like I say he's expendable. So I'm not really super worried about him. But I will have to move him. And then we got the elite coming in that we can hopefully put down real quick. Yep. That broke one of them. So it gives them less uh, points to work with. Alright. Yep, I know about Ragnane. Ah, uh, what do we want to do? Yeah, bring her down. Ok, 
Okay, he's dead. And yep, and that. Moving out. Since he's so far away, it's not. It's not like it's a. Uh, you know, kind of a major thing. If I can get the shock trooper, you know, wounded a little bit with Alicia, since okay. he's so far off to the left, he's not gonna aim for her. No. If I can just get him hurt quite a bit, it's actually gonna help. In case he moves. My turn, okay. He's, I believe. Oop, uh, no stand up. He's, yeah, he's like, correct. He's like one of the last ones. Damn it. I wanted to hit him in the head a few times. Alright, that's it for our turn. We had to survive for at least three turns, if I'm correct. Until oh, I was gonna say goodbye to that guy. Nope. Uh, no, this keeps up. The tank is like a really finicky, like, thing, too. Yep, he's gonna throw a grenade that's uh damage that a little bit. Not too much. The uh the grenades work off like the old stick grenades from uh World War II that you see with uh that you've seen a lot with the Germans. You pull the thing at the bottom and you throw it that way. Oh nice, get rid of that shock trooper. Good kill, good kill. Because that only leaves the tank and like one or two other people. Oh yeah, never mind. We have another shock trooper. Shite. Alright, we sh yep, welcome to ride, which he has our tank. The tanks, if I'm correct, use 2 Entering CP combat. each. And they use AP just to uh, turn. So it's basically make your humans count with uh, a tank. Uh, I don't know how to. Yeah, welcome, we have a tank. Uh, let's use a mortar. Uh, what's this unit? What is this? A mag, PI, anti armor. Why do I not want to use this? Oh, fuck, that was a machine gun. Damn it! Yeah, we're not gonna be damaged, so. Entering combat. I wanna get up there and get that tank out of it. I try to get that tank. You know, like the best I can. Uh, let's use the anti armor round. And try and blow this. Fire. If I can get that body, that would be amazing. Do I have enough for the uh, for the tank right now? Moving out. So let's try and get this. Oops, that's I don't want this. You know, put some lay some fire on the now. shot trooper. Oh god dang it, dude, you suck! I think the uh, the gate always just like barely survives. Nope, he's gonna hit our tank. Nice. Minimal. Yeah, very minimal. Wait, okay, that did nothing. That tank should be gone within like the next turn. Yeah, they always try like to sprint up there and chuck a grenade if they can. This main gate actually held a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah, take up the guard, I don't care. He did. Yeah, no big deal. What are they gonna try to do? Take out our freaking tank? Jesus. Sorry, bro. Later. Stupid stupid decision on your part. <laughs> Here we go. He's like, I got this guys, I'll run it from the tank. They won't know what hit them. No, we know what hit us. 
Got a freaking tank shelf up face. Boom! Tank gone. Get out of here. Operation complete. Heck yeah. Well, yes, it's the first time I hit the tank. Nice work, and the Ace. last time, last time I played this, last time I played this, I, when I hit the tank the first time, I hit it and it damaged the treads. Oh, the Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time at least. Yep. We should now be getting new units. Martha had a boy. She gave birth in Dad's tank? Yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. Okay then. Good. That's fantastic. Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. Yeah, everybody can uh, ride on the back. Oh, I got a freaking B? Heck yeah. With a lot of dosh. Dosh me money. Alright. Here we go. This is the end of this chapter, technically. We meet the army soon. After the first shots were fired, Gruel was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Gruul would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Yay. Whew. It's seen better days. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. Anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why Never. I want to be a teacher. So that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together Never as one people. Do you think so? There will always be war of some kind, some kind of strife, it doesn't matter. Alicia? That's a big ass kid. Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. Someday, we'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. Yep, and that ends chapter, chapter two. Basil Urban, Basil Urban Warfare. Warfare. Alright, we're gonna get right we're gonna get into some new stuff. This is all mostly story. Sorry if you guys don't like story. Began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Yep. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Gruul's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Oh well, yeah, I mean, 
you freaking you have a small village that can't defend itself against mobile armor, yeah. Rand Greece, Gallia's capital. A town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Rand Greece, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Okay. Supporting Gallia's yeah, we joined the basic military. Neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Yeah. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. Actually, I'm, I don't see a lot of, of countries that we have this in real life. Both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. I don't think they really cared at that point. Oh, they joined the army too. We're gross. Of Especially what you've been through. So these are my new digs. Yeah. Oh, my uniform. I want to put that on, bro. Should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Heck yeah. We'll get to the point where we like, we can upgrade weapons and get new ones of that nature. Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Huh. And don't forget the headset. Everything you need for a nice hike or combat. I don't know if you need a flare for uh, for okay. hiking, but okay. Can I come in? Sure, it's open. Sure, it's open. You're already changed too. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You look good actually. Wow. Okay. So how about Douche. me? Do I look all right in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. Wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Nope. Of course not. You look tough. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. They're fine. No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic! Bro, I don't realize she doesn't know what the hell it is. Holy what? And did you just say beetle? Uh, Welkin? Oh, Welkin. What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Uh, a girl that wants to huh? one out there? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle, king of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Uh huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very welcome. He's saying you. I don't know what he's saying. He's saying you look strong. You look nice. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh my God! Can I just get to you know part I was talking about? my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? You can be like Sakura and just cut your hair off and, you know, stab the next person next to you in battle. I plan to keep Bust my buns, bacon buns, you know what I mean? I don't think I want a man ovens after shooting guns all day. Rat tat 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 tat. Here, let's go bake. Kill 40 people today. Bake 40 bones. Once you do, I'll be the first to want to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Why do I got a feeling one of you is gonna die? Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Captain? Yeah, probably should. Story's not flowing, but you know. Alright, guys, other than that, uh, I'm ending the episode here. I'm not gonna lie. This is Valkyria Chronicles. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully we can upgrade our stuff soon. Other than that, see ya.